Hey, what's up guys? It's your homeboy Nick dan hari ni saya berada di Outlaw. Ha, nama gempa. Outlaw ah. Eh, ni tempat gangster apa ni? Ah, gua pun nervous sangat dah. Tapi hari ni saya akan belajar tentang powerlifting. Actually gua nervous ah sebab powerlifting di Outlaw pui. Ini apa punya tempat ni? Tapi tak apa, kita pergi try dulu. Okay, let's go. Ready, aim and fire gun. Nothing can cool me down. So hari ini bersama saya Joshua ya, yeah, my really good friend, also founder of the Outlaw Strength and Conditioning Center. How are you, bro? Good, good, good to see you again. All right, so tell us a little bit more about this facility. Basically, we are we are not just a typical gym. We have a strong uh, strength and conditioning center where we try to do our best to provide the best facility for all kind of lifters okay. not just bodybuilders but also mm. powerlifters and weightlifters so what inspired you to open this place and to keep it running because i know for a fact uh, it it's hard to run a business and also a gym at this size yeah. so what inspires you um, it started when i was very young actually mm. when i was about maybe from from 3 mm. because back in those days when i was about from 1 and so on mm. i was into gangsterism I was into okay. like mud rampage and so on, you know, yeah. illegal racing uh, and everything. So I have like scars falling down and everything. Nama Jim and Outlaw, uh -uh. right? Uh -uh. <laughs> what, what, what happened was actually when um, at those days, when around from three, a friend of mine pulled me into a, a football club, mm. you know. And because of that, the football club actually took me away from gangsterism and my life changed. And I realized that actually sports can change people's life. Can, because That's true. They, if you prioritize your life on, on two spots and then you know you kind of like get back on track. You know, it prevents uh, teenagers or youth or even young adults to, to, to fall into um, maybe gangsterism, drugs, you know, and everything else. Lah. Okay, so last one. Any message to the viewers at home from the minister? Hmm. <laughs> Before you leave, make sure you get the right coach, make sure you get the right form to prevent injuries. Hmm. Yeah. So in, in other words, hati-hati lah dalam gym. Ya, yeah, hati-hati. <laughs> okay bro, thank you so much for today. Welcome. Uh, I will be learning about powerlifting. Yep. Alright, you have your coaches here. Yep. I'm excited. Alright, let's get on to it. Today we're going to talk about powerlifting. So powerlifting, what are the basics for women and the do's and don'ts? Okay, powerlifting consists of three movements. First of all is squat. Um, later on the demo bench and then deadlift. So there's a couple of tools and those that uh, we need to demonstrate to beginners, uh, especially for those who want to learn from us. Mm -hmm. So today, Camille, we have, uh, Camille will demo to us like how we're going to perform a proper squat. Okay, so let's move on with the weight uh, movement. Okay, okay. I'm going to start out the weight. Yeah, okay. away, yeah. <laughs> so basically, you are go underneath the barbell, right? And you're standing up straight. Once you're done, you take a step back. Right. So be careful when you step back. So because there is a weight uh, right behind, come your back. So once you get ready, just take a deep breath, raise yourself, and you go all the way down. And standing up straight. Okay. Of course, there is a couple of ways of uh, bad form. So come here with demo as well. So first of all, come here unrack it like very unstable. This is the first common mistake, right? So so this is anyhow unrack it and without uh, have any proper Second red high, purple red high. So we just walk out and very unstable. You can see that coming unstable right now because uh, she didn't really engage the core to uh, brace it. So now, so if you let's say you did uh, engage the core to brace it, when you sit all the way in, you squat all the way in, you kind of like tilt uh, sideways like that. Yeah, it's like kind of like sitting in, like very hard time to coming up straight. Okay, so there's a don't part which is try, try not to, try not to uh, unrack. Uh, without any attention. So when you unrack it, raise properly. Take a deep breath and sit all the way in with a very strong call and stand me up straight with the chest come up first. Okay. All right. All right. Let's put it back. Oh. All right. So right now with my homeboy Azro, also known as Bear. Alright, so now it's the boy's turn to show off and we're going to do the bench press. Okay bro, sebelum kita berbula ni, aku nak tanya kau satu soalan. Okay, so aku besar sangat ni bro. Yang ni perha ke kayu balak bro? Uh, saya makan, <laughs> makan banyak. Okay, dia makan banyak, okay? So, <laughs> okay, let's not waste any time. 
So today our national coach is going to show us the bench press. All right, let's get on it. All right. So it's not in. In, in order to start a bench press, definitely you need a bench. So, mm -hmm. uh, an athlete requires to lie down on the bench. Alright, so lie down on the bench. And, what of course, a few things you need to take note is the rack height for this uh, bench. So, first of all, the, the person itself needs to measure the barbell should be around the wrist. Alright, so once you get it done, this is already fixed. So, bear going to underneath it. Yep, yep. So, again, always unwrap with confidence and uh, Yep, I'm very confident. Okay, so strip around chest level and lower down the barbell all the way down. Touch your chest and you press up straight. As simple as this. The common mistake is you step too far away from the barbell. So try to step closer to the barbell. If you step too far from the barbell, when you unrack, right, you're going to travel from the rack until this is too long already. So you try to keep it uh, as close as possible. Okay. So you prevent the shoulder, in, uh, shoulder injuries. Huh? And another thing is, if you're lowering down the barbell, you don't keep attention to the back and you start to collapse, then you sink down. Then you sink down and you press, basically pressing on the ribcage. That could cause a lot of impact on the, your, your lungs. So try to always press up straight, always show up the chest and keep the tightness on the back. Alright, so right now, I'm going to learn how to do the deadlift. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so guide me through it bro. Sure, okay. yep. So, um, please go ahead with that. Um, first thing first, when you're doing deadlift, make sure you always stand very close to the barbell. Okay. Which is as close to your shin. So, if you're not sure about that, then you can take... If you're wearing a shoe, your shoe knot is your reference point. The barbell is just right above your shoe. Okay, knot. so right. my shoe... Yep. Alright? Yep. All right. So, if you can, your toes always point forward to stable yourself. Once it's done, make sure your back straight again. Drop your chest, do it confident, take a deep breath and go all the way down. Keep hinge all the way down until your hands are literally touching the barbell. So at this point, keep your back straight, take a deep breath and just standing up straight. And standing up straight. So make sure when at the top, you always uh, show up your chest and you squeeze the butt at the top. Right? Okay. And slowing down in a proper form as well. Alright. Pass. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay. So yep. all green light, yeah? Yep, this is a green light. <laughs> okay. Yep. So right now kita akan tunjukkan the don'ts of deadlift. Mm. Alright. Of course. Uh, as mentioned, um, if you don't do uh, this deadlift with a proper form, then there will be a, a kind of causing injuries. Mm. First thing, the big uh, common mistake is you always stand too far away from the barbell. It's kind of like scared of the barbell like that. So, scared of the barbell? Yeah, scared of the barbell. <laughs> stay away from it. Okay. So, try not to stay away from it. Keep it closer to you. So, why, why is so much important? Because when you stand too far from the barbell, the center of gravity is go away with it. So it might cause your round, round, round the back like, like cat like that. So you want to prevent it, so try stand as good as possible. So you have no chance to uh, round our back. Yep, this okay. is the one or the don't. The second part is because uh, when you pick it up, you don't brace properly. So if you don't brace properly, your your back will start to do uh, like, because it's heavy. Ma. It's okay, the way it's correct. heavy. So try to brace properly, show up your chest as close as possible mm -hmm. and pick it up standing up straight. All right, so thank you very much, Coach. No uh, problem. This is the last workout, so yep. I hope you had a good time. Yes, yes definitely. And, uh, thank you to all the athletes also. Mm. All right, so I'm going to go start lifting. Sure. Okay, so dah selesai pun training Nick ni. Um, saya sebenarnya ada training uh, dengan experience dengan uh, powerlifting sikit. Tapi hari ni saya memang betul lah dapat uh, training daripada national coach. So kepada anda di rumah tu uh, yang nak start powerlifting, beginner, memang banyak benefit dia. Memang banyak faedah uh, untuk kesihatan, untuk strength, untuk minda juga. So kepada anda di rumah yang nak start powerlifting, okay, so bolehlah datang to the Outlaw Strength and Conditioning Center. Macam mana nak hubungi dia orang? Instagram, okay, Facebook, website, dan juga YouTube. Alright, so guys, um, start lifting and stay healthy. Ciao.